Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Today guys, we are going to be talking about Resident Evil Revelations 3, which is codenamed to be Resident Evil Outrage. And it was one of the games that was leaked a little while ago. And uh, I am kind of late to this information, but I definitely didn't want to go over it. I have another video coming out today because I was kind of late. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting week uh, this all week. I just need a little break. All those three videos did take up most of my time. Uh, I'm pretty busy nowadays, and I'm really sorry about that. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out my schedule, and I'm still going to get into the videos. All this information is coming from Game Rent, and uh, it's going to be Leaker reaffir reaffirms Resident Evil Revelations 3 is Resident Evil outrage and it is in development now all the information will be in the description you guys wanted to check it out but other than that guys if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video it would really help me out if you guys can leave a like subscribe if you guys are new and drop a like on this video it would really help me out and like i said with other than that let's just get right into this okay so the leaker or the title of the game rent article is leaker reaffirms resident evil revelations 3 outrage is in development resident evil leaker dusk Gollum claims that the third entry in the resident evil Revelations series could be coming within a year of villages pretty much release so let's go down while the hype surrounding resident evil 8 village is an, at an all-time high now that the game finally has a release date of may 7th the only game is only the, the game is only the first in what capcom promises to be a series a, a series of releases celebrating resident evil's 25th anniversary one of these projects is rumored to be the third entry in resident evil revelation series spin-off entries of the resident evil franchise that act as canonical side stories according to resident evil leaker dusk Gollum. resident evil outrage the working title for resident evil revelations 3 is planned to release within a year from resident evil 8 now we're going to hop on to more. Resident Evil Revelations was originally released on the Nintendo 3DS in 2012. The game was designed for the intention of bringing Resident Evil back to its survival horror roots after the main series took a more action-heavy approach through the titles such as Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. The game was later ported to PC, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii U in 2013 when Nintendo Switch PlayStation 4 and Xbox One ports following in 2017. A sequel followed in 2015 in the form of Resident Evil Revelations 2. An episodic release that released on PC, PlayStation 3, Re uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita. Really? PlayStation Vita? I didn't know that. Um, play Xbox 360 and Xbox One with a Nintendo Switch port following. And uh, it just continues on to say, now it appears that the Resident Evil Revelation series is back, making its way to Nintendo platforms. As prominent evil Resident Evil leaker, Dust Gollum has claimed that Resident Evil Outrage is a title featured in, in Capcom's leaked game lineup last year is actually, uh, for last year. And it is actually Resident Evil Revelations 3, and it is currently in development for Nintendo Switch. That is pretty disappointing, but other than that, I mean, it's it's just Resident Evil. It's, ah, man, that, that is honestly pretty disappointing, but I mean, exclusivity? Uh, I don't know, man, that's just really heartbreaking. It expects the game to be a Switch-timed exclusive. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Much like Monster Hunter Rise, the game will also utilize the RE engine, again, like Rise. I don't think would the re engine really be suited for that and then it goes on to read the tweets right here and this is from aesthetic golem so this is really true all right so aesthetic golem or aesthetic gamer aka dust golem says this is from him and it says this is not from me but for the record revelation 3 is coming out within a year of village's release date either late 2020 or early 2021 it is probably it probably won't be called rev 3 the game we know as it is resident evil outrage but it is rev 3 at one point in development and then he goes on to say very least releases at as part of their 25th anniversary celebrations along with village most definitely going to be a switch timed exclusive but that'll be announced later this year for now village is deserving of the attention and now is just a few months away 
And then he continues to say, as Dust Golem mentions, it seems reasonable to expect Resident Evil Revelations 3 Outrage to release in early 2020, given that Capcom has been somewhat aggressive in releasing Resident Evil titles every year since 2019's Resident Evil 2 remake, with a remake of Resident Evil 3 following just last year, and Resident Evil 8 Vill Village now only three months away. If the game is a Nintendo Switch exclusive or even timed exclusive, Outrage is most likely to be a smaller title than any of the mainline entries in the series much more like revelation games although it seems like it seems unlikely that the game will return to resident evil 2's episodic release and then it says the resident evil revelation series is known for focusing on characters that have been noticeably absent from the main series installments in recent years such as jill valentine claire redfield and barry burton while claire and leon s kennedy are set to appear in resident evil Infinite Darkness as an animated Netflix series following later this year. It might be safe not to expect them to appear in Outrage. That's pretty disappointing. I want to see a return for Leon. However, this entry could mark the canonical return of Jill Valentine, whose last appearance in the franchise was the original Nori Resident Evil Revelations. So yeah, that's gonna pretty much have to wrap up this video. Um, so the biggest things to take away is that it is going to be called Resident Evil Outrage, and it's going to be coming out probably most likely next year. I want to say next year. And um, the reason for this is I want to think that they're going to spend most of their time on Resident Evil 8. I don't think they're going to rush things, but that, that could be me. Um, also, it's going to be Nintendo exclusive, so only it's only going to be playable on Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty disappointing too. That, that, that is pretty disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But, I mean, they did this for Code Veronica, they did that with freaking... I know they did that with some other games, but, I mean, yeah. Uh, I think Resident Evil Zero, which is a pretty cool to Resident Evil 1. But, uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy this video. I, uh, I don't know really what to expect. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty, pretty disappointing that it's gonna be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about buying more switch but i was like yeah nah. but other than that guys i mean that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video if you guys did enjoy i would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for joining me